So should we start the microphone? Oh, there's no microphone. So hello, my name is Levan Takil. I met some of you already yesterday, and uh, we had a more uh, technical session, kind of technical session, and uh, focusing mostly on the Intel Vitin Amplifier XE, how it can be leveraged in the HPC segment, how it can help to solve certain problems. And today we have a, a rather mixed crowd, and uh, the focus is going to be more on the like a case study how our certain tools were used to analyze certain you know applications. So I was hoping to actually bring a system here where I could demo some of the the actually the application that I was going to show, but uh, it didn't really uh, happen. So I'm glad actually I didn't bring that. It would be really crowded here because we have a lot of other systems. So that's why. I decided to focus mostly through the slides and show you everything through the slides. That's why I wanted to put this here because I think I had a better productivity than Dilbert because I put uh, 40 slides together and then I will go through the screenshots and some demo and try to explain how VTune Amplifier XE was used in uh, one type of application. The, our app, Intel engineers use the tool at the customer side. <coughs> the customer developers use the tool to analyze, optimize, and uh, get a really <coughs> nice, uh, powerful application. So that's why uh, I use the term here, discover the gem, because what I will show is how actually us application <coughs> engineers and the customer use our performance analysis tool to optimize it. And in this, and uh, but what I will be showing is the kind of the optimized version, and I will use the tool to show how they reach to the current point. So before we start, I want to show you something from uh, an application or a game, let's say. I know not all of you are actually real game enthusiasts because uh, in the morning not, there were no hands playing games. And uh, so basically, I will explain what it is. You just watch it a little bit. The you know the visualization is not really stunning here because it's just the embedded video, and but it is just showing how empires battle to you know on the sea, on the land to seize the world. That's your mission, and uh, you just go through this game through visually stunning uh, effects. And uh, so basically, empires in this game use the diplomacy, alliance, and the technology. And of course, the software developers like us, or the geeks, use the technology to seize the opportunities. And the opportunities are basically to achieve, technology provides the opportunity for us to achieve performance and scalability. And uh, can you guess any uh, other opportunity, actually, what other opportunities uh, exist using technology? Any guess, in addition to performance or scalability? What does it allow you? Any guess? Beauty. Beauty. Four. Okay, what else? Well, technology allows me to do these nice transitions between the slides. So, <laughs> and uh, actually, this is a game. Uh, what you have seen was a demo, a screenshot uh, from uh, what a game called Total War Empire, and it uses a game engine called Total War. And this was developed uh, by a Creative Assembly, and uh, basically, this is a very popular game. It has multiple series. The game engine is using Total War Empire, Total War Napoleon, and the Shogun, Shogun 2. There are so many different versions of this game using the same engine. Did you show a cutscene or in the uh, sequence? Uh, Sorry. Did you show a cutscene or in the? Oh, this is the cutscene from the you know uh, one of the introductory scenes. I was planning to show actually through the game. That was my planning a goal. How you can see the realistic effect of the wars and the or individual combat units, etc. But uh, that didn't really happen. So, basically. Like I said, my goal in this presentation is to show, go through this uh, game engine and see how Vitune Amplifier XC was used in what levels to kind of analyze and optimize this game engine. So you have seen already what Vitune Amplifier XC is, and probably you remember this slide. We talked more about it yesterday in more detail, but it allows you many things, uh, basically to find the easiest way, finding your value, spend your, uh, most of your time, or where you basically waste time in the architecture. 
because the easiest way to find is okay, where are my hot spots? But the question is, why is a hot spot is a hot spot? There are many reasons for it, and architectural reasons actually are hard to find, and it requires certain expertise and certain tools and certain understanding. So, region amplifier XC actually evolved a lot from the previous generation. Yesterday, I asked a question, actually, how many of you heard about uh, Vtune? There were, I think, 10, 20 hands. How many of you used Vtune? There were 10 hands. How many of you liked it? There were two or three hands. So this was like what the old product used to be. Now, things are not getting much better. So the current product allows us to do a lot of microarchitectural tuning. It allows us to do a lot of uh, thread profiling, identifying the concurrency issues, and value weight, which threads were uh, weight where, et cetera. So, finding hotspots, fixing architectural issues give you performance, and identifying concurrency issues give you scalability. And of course, uh, basically what it allows is uh, advanced profiling, therefore scalable and multi-core performance. Again, this is something you have seen from James' presentation early in the morning, and this is just a screenshot, uh, again, of uh, what we are, uh, of uh, Amplifier XC, where it shows thread profiling on the timeline, and the basically hotspot view of this uh, particular uh, application. What is good about this uh, tool is uh, it is actually provides the same look and feel on Linux and Windows. So wherever you are developing, and uh, before before we didn't have that capability, Windows and Linux products were different. How they look and behave were different. It created problems. So right now you can have the same look and feel on Windows and Linux. It is basically compiler agnostic, so you can analyze any application compiled either with GCC, Microsoft, or Intel, or PGI, it doesn't matter, whichever you're using. And what we are trying to do is give you fast, accurate performance results and trying to help you reach the results and answer fast. That's our goal, actually, in this new product. So, what we do is uh, we can give you thread profiling analysis, we can anal analyze the threads, and this is very powerful, especially because when we, we talked about earlier you know, how multi-core is important, how applications out there are all becoming multi-traded by norm. And, but the question is, of course, not, it's not easy. There are so many parallel programming methods out there. We, we talked earlier, Heinz mentioned about OpenMP, native trading, talked about Silk, which one is the better? And once you implemented something, identifying the problems and finding these issues is not easy. So we try to keep those in mind and give a powerful tool which can analyze the threads shows when those threads are waiting, when they're running, how they're synchronizing, and how they're transitioning from, uh, from one thread to another, and uh, give you some information about the frames, we will talk about that, and give you information about some of the tasks you can define. Also, since now we talked about you know, 248, 2468, 10 core processors, and uh, you will actually find 12 cores from the competitor, and coming soon, it's already there. And you know, there are so many systems out there with many cores. The question is now, once you write an application, how do you control how these threads are running on these cores? Or when you control them, are you sure they are running the way you want them to run? So finding these answers are not trivial. And for example, that's why, I, the reason I'm showing this right now, because we, our application engineers, and the custom software developers use these features to analyze their game engine and optimize it. And once you identify a hotspot, finding where it is happening in the source code is not always trivial. And uh, this product allows you to drill down into the source. And if you like to see the assembly, or if you care, or if you basically want to work with the assembly, you can always get the assembly view. And sometimes, for people like me or some other who like to do microarchitectural Analysis and optimization, seeing the assembly gives you a lot better view than the source code itself. Because it tells you what kind of instructions are generated, if it is generated the way you want it. 